Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to take a look at the equations of a line in space. This is a three dimensional space, and the blue line here represents any arbitrary line in space in three dimensions. Notice that we should know at least one point on the line. We're going to call that point sub naught, which has the coordinates x, y, and z sub naught. Then there is a vector, we call it the vector v which is parallel to the line. So typically a line is defined by at least one point on the line and the direction of the line which can be represented by some vector. So this vector v here is parallel to the blue line. Then we can pick any other arbitrary point on the line called p which has coordinates x, y, and z which are unknown. Those are the three unknowns x, y, and z. Notice that we can draw a vector from the known point to any arbitrary point and call it A, and the vector A must be in the same direction as the vector V, since V is parallel to the line, so we can say that vectors A and V are parallel to one another. If we draw a vector, a position vector, to the known point, call it R sub naught, and then we draw another position vector from the origin to the unknown point, any arbitrary point, call that R, you can then see that the vector R is simply the vector sum of the vector to the known point added to the vector going from the known point to the arbitrary point. Therefore, vector r is equal to r sub naught plus the a vector. Now we can relate the a vector to the v vector. v vector should be a known vector. The a vector is, in the, is pointing in the same direction but can have a larger, smaller magnitude. Which means we can then write the a vector as the product of some constant, let's call it t, times the v vector. t can be a number larger than 1, it can be a number smaller than 1. If it's larger than 1, then a is bigger than v. If it's smaller than 1, then a is smaller than v, at least in amplitude or in magnitude. Now let's write the v vector the way we have it over here. We can then say a vector is equal to t times the v vector, which has the points a, b, and c. And then if we multiply that together, we can say that the a vector is equal to a times t, b times t, and c times t as a vector. So that now would be the vector a. If we plug that into our equation here, we can say that the position vector to my unknown point r is equal to r sub naught, which is the position vector to my known point, added to the a vector, which we can now write like this. That would be equal to t times v t times the v vector. Our vector can be written as this. Let me go ahead and write it out. So the r vector is equal to x, y, and z. And that is equal to the r sub naught vector, which is x sub naught, y sub naught, z sub naught, like this, plus t times the v vector, which is this vector here, a t, b t, and c t which means I can now take each of the three components of each vector and then write that x must be equal to the known point x sub naught on the line plus the a component of the v vector to which the line is parallel times t. Now t is the parameter that allows me to write it like this. Then I can also write y is equal to y sub naught plus b times t and I can write z is equal to z sub naught plus c times t. And these then become what we call the three parametric equations that relate the unknown point consisting of x, y, and z on the line, any arbitrary unknown point, to the known point x sub naught, y sub naught, z sub naught, plus some additional distance in the direction of the v vector, which is then of course the a vector. And so these are the distances, the magnitudes in the x direction, the y direction, and the z direction from the known point to the unknown point on the line. And that's how we define the three equations or the three parametric equations of a line in space.